everyone and happy Sunday. Today I'm filming something a little bit different and that is a university casual wardrobe. I did something quite similar to this last year. Um, I did it with Topshop and it was like a back to school lookbook and it went down really well and it was really up and, like, nice and inspiring seeing your comments. And I asked on Instagram stories recently if that you'd like to see something kind of back to school, back to work, first day at work, those kind of vibes in some kind of video and the response was an overwhelming yes. So I thought Right, how can I start this off? And one person suggested doing like a university capsule wardrobe, which I thought was an amazing idea because so often people do like capsule wardrobe videos and they're not really themed around a kind of time in your life. They're very general, very vague, which is great. But obviously if you're at uni, you might not need like, I don't know, a white shirt, a Breton strike top for everything. So it's kind of mixing that up a little bit, playing around with that and doing something a little bit different. This video has 12 items in it, obviously they can be switched around, I've put down some alternatives in them as well, so there's like statement trousers, I've put down a few different options, and I've also made sure each item is under £50 to try and keep things a little bit on a budget, I tried to do it at like a whole thing in like £150 and realised if I wanted to do that, probably will have to go to Primark, so I tried to mix it up a little bit. Also if you do like this let me know and I could obviously do like a what to wear from back to school, like interviews, any more kind of things around this back to school work theme so let me know and yeah let's get talking through these items okay so the first item on my list is a statement trouser the reason I love these so much is because I think there's such a nice balance between like smart and casual I think you can wear them to a job interview with a nice blouse you could wear them with a band t-shirt and vans like they're so flexible and they also kind of make you look like you put a bit of effort in even when you haven't which I think is always great um the first pair are of course these gingham ones from Topshop I featured these endlessly, I love them so much, and they're just straight from my wardrobe, box fresh from my wardrobe. Also picked up these, which are in my wardrobe as well, they're really creased because I haven't ironed them, which I now regret. <laughs> but I bought these a couple of weekends ago, and I really love these, they're almost like a white kind of pinstripey, so quite a more of a summery trouser, but I really love these because I think if you wear a lot of denim or leather jackets, they go really nicely. And they're almost like culotte, so they're a bit longer than the kind of really wide culottes, but they're just a really great kind of throw on trouser. I wore it with a Kate Nash t-shirt recently because they're just a nice alternative to just boyfriend jean. Look a bit more put together, kind of a bit scandy, quite cool, love those. The last option I have for a statement trouser are these, and I picked these up on ASOS, they are from Bashka, and I was... I don't know, I wanted a, a kind of trouser that was quite smart but also really comfortable. I think that's one thing that I got as a lot of feedback was a resounding kind of I want thing outfit ideas that are comfortable but look cool. And I thought, okay, so I don't know, what a, what is comfortable and cool but isn't a pair of jeans because I really struggle. And I saw these and I was like, hmm, let's have a look at these. And the reason I love these so much is because they're this navy kind of pinstripe trouser with a like a fold in the front like a tuck and it looks very smart, they're kick flare, really cool would look really like, I was gonna say edgy but I was like no, <laughs> really cool with like vans or converse and a little t-shirt but the reason I love them is because they've got an elasticated waistband at the back and I was like genius! I actually have a pair of trousers quite similar to these that I bought from Uniqlo quite a while ago actually and I use them all the time when I travel and when I fly because they're just a great balance of something quite comfortable without kind of having the whole student traveller look, we've got these huge harem trousers. So they're a really good middle ground. They are really reasonable, I think they're about 20 quid. So they don't have pockets, the detail isn't like really on it. There's not like a button at the front, which sometimes I feel a bit weird about because I do like having trousers you can just do up, if that sounds weird. I don't know. Trousers that don't look like leggings from the front is what I'm trying to say, but equally great with a big knit, great with a t-shirt. I think that's just a nice transitional piece as well, so really happy with those. The second item on my list are a good trusty pair of loafers. These are from Pull and Bear and I got them in ASOS and they've got some earrings inside them which are coming later. Just pop those out of the way. I really like a nice kind of smartish shoe and I think just having a pair like this, they look like, I mean I don't want to kind of boil down a pair of Pull and Bear shoes to like be like Loewe, but um, they do have that kind of designery look to them. I think it's the ring. Anything with the ring on it, I'm like, ooh, fashion. But these are really cool, they're very, very comfortable. I was really surprised, they're about 20 quid, it's, again, really reasonable. And I was genuinely really surprised with how comfortable they were, how soft the leather was. Really great shoe, these will look really cool with tights and little mini dresses in the winter. Also look really cool with jeans, all of the trousers I talked about a minute ago. 
I don't know, I'm just really happy with these. I always struggle to find great shoes on the high street because my feet are quite wide and just comfortable shoes that don't need wearing in. And these are a really great find. After wearing kind of the Gucci loafer rovers recently and that kind of trend piece, I thought these are really great. They'll last for a long time, hopefully. I mean, no promises, they were £20. But yeah, I thought they were a good bet. Good safe shoes, smart shoe for lectures and uh, lectures and... What's the other thing? Oh no, because of the seminars. Seminars, great for seminars. You don't need to wear loafers for seminars. What am I talking about? The next item is very much a universal item. It could go on any capsule wardrobe, on any, sorry, in any capsule wardrobe, and that is obviously this, the white t-shirt, the plain white tee. This one is actually from, I think it's from Brandy Melville, is it? It is, it's from Brandy Melville. It's one of my favorite kind of t-shirty brands. I think they have a website online, um, obviously. But I will see if I can link that, and if not, white t-shirts, you can get them absolutely everywhere. Their t-shirts, I think, are normally around £15, £10 to £15. ASOS have got some great t-shirts, but I thought I'd pick this one up because it's long sleeves, and I really, really love a long sleeve t-shirt. Uh, looks great under kind of slip dresses, looks really cool with jeans, just really simple but just fail safe, and I don't think you can do a capsule wardrobe video without featuring some kind of white, plain t-shirt number, or even a band t-shirt, just a, a good t-shirt. Take a t-shirt with you, basically. <laughs> The next item, swiftly moving on, is the humble denim jacket. This one is actually one I pulled out of my wardrobe because I just love it, I wear it all the time, and it's from Hush. Um, I can't tell you how much it was because I can't remember. So yeah, I just think it's a really great fail-safe item. You know, you've probably got one lying in the back of your wardrobe. Dust it off and pack it because it's really, really useful and I'm guaranteed, I guarantee, sorry, you'll definitely wear it. Moving swiftly on to the next item, and that is a knit. I have used, included, sorry, this knit, which is from Topshop. Just kind of a simple, plain grey jumper, and I think these are really great because they just go with everything. It's really unexciting. But equally, I think, paired under dungarees with jeans, even layered under little tea dresses, or even under like a slip kind of cam cami dress, they look really cool. I think it's just good to have a good staple jumper. You don't have to spend loads on it, or equally you could spend a bit more because it will last you for ages if you do. Also, I'm a bit of an, a quality snob sometimes with knitwear, so this is a really good one. I did pick this up in Topshop recently, I haven't worn it yet, but this was £20, so it's really, really reasonable. But I have got some other knits in my wardrobe from Whistles, which are a bit more expensive and also last so well. Um, where else? And other stories, another amazing shot for good knitwear. The next thing is, isn't essential, but I think it can make a lot of difference. It's a small thing that makes a lot of difference, and that is a nice pair of statement earrings. Sorry if you can hear a beeping as well, my dishwasher has just finished, so that's great news. The reason I pop these in is because I do think that wearing a pair of statement earrings can kind of take you out of a lot of wardrobe dilemmas. I think when you scrape your hair back, put on a bit of lipstick, and then put on some big earrings, it almost looks a bit more put together and intentional, if that makes sense. So I've included these ones in Whistles. I wear them all the time. Also, Mango, again, have amazing earrings in it at the moment. They've got great kind of arty face ones, like the Matisse style ones that everyone's crazy for at the moment. They've also got some big gold ones. And they're really reasonable. I think they're about £10. You can obviously get cheaper ones, more expensive ones. But I think, you know, if you can't be authored with your hair, your makeup, sometimes just let your ears do the talking or the listening or just the best earrings. The next thing on my list is obviously a good pair of trainers. These are two of my favourite pairs of trainers that I have in my wardrobe, have had in my wardrobe for ages. First being obviously a pair of Converse. I mean, self-explanatory. They go with everything, look great with little dresses, great with dungarees, great with jeans. And these ones which are slightly more recent, although I've had pairs for years consistently. I've got a leather pair that are kind of coming to the end of their life, they're a bit dirty. But I recently picked up another canvas pair, and they are the Supaga trainers. I wear them all the time. I love them so much. Like, chances are, if you ever saw me walking about, I'd be in these, because there's not a single thing in my wardrobe that doesn't look great with these. Like, dressy dresses, midi skirts, jeans, tea dress, absolutely everything. And they're just fail-safe. So I think, if you're going to invest in one pair of shoes, aside from, like, a smarter shoe, these should be the ones, because they're so good. Just comfortable as well. They don't require, like, a lot of wearing in. And yeah, they're just really straightforward. <laughs> straightforward shoe, a good straightforward shoe, but I don't know, just a good thing to take with you and you'll get loads of wear out of them. Find them in the washing machine when they're dirty and you're sorted. The next item I'm including is another new item. I do have a couple in my wardrobe, but nothing that really illustrated what I really wanted to include. This is a little tea dress I picked up in Topshop. This one was £32. 
and it's a really pretty, almost kind of Kate Moss inspired dress. I know they did their collection with Kate Moss years ago and those dresses are really, really similar to this. Shows they have a lot of longevity to them, which is great. But this one is just from Topshop at the moment. It's really lovely. It's quite, jer it's a jersey material, which is slightly different because a lot of them do, or sorry, are made up of like silk or kind of polyester or something a little bit more structured. It's a nice balance between casual and dressy and you don't want to look too dressed up for lectures. I mean, you might want to, go ahead if you do. I thought I'd just include this really pretty little navy print and I think just having a dress like this is quite fail safe. Again, it works great for nights out if you're going out for some food with some friends out for drinks, but equally you can throw it on with a jumper and you're done for the day, or even a little biker jacket, so really love that. The next item, I do have a little list here, is a backpack. It was something that I did struggle with when I was at uni, I only went for a couple of months, um, three months to be exact, so I'm not really a veteran in university wardrobe packing, but I do have an idea, and a backpack that fits your laptop in is pretty essential, it's just, it's so hard to come by, but I picked up this backpack, Ugh. And this one is from ASOS and this is from Me Pack or My Pack. And just a bag like this is so, so useful. Mango also have some really great bags at the moment. I did look on their website to kind of get an idea about where you could get a great high street bag because again, that's something I really struggled with when I was at school slash sick form slash uni is finding a nice big bag that would fit in folders and laptops that didn't, wasn't just a plain black clunky bag. These are really good, also Kanken, I don't know how you say that, but the, I think it's, I don't know if they're Swedish, I'm not sure, sorry, but they do great backpacks. I'll link some below as alternatives and I'll also link some smarter bags because I know Mango did have some which were really good. Zara are quite good and ASOS are worth having a rummage through too, so check those out as well. My next item, item number 10 of 12, is a pair of trusty dungarees. I mean, how could I not include them? I wear these all the time. These ones are actually from Monkey. I got these a couple of years ago, so they're sadly not available anymore. I wear them to death. I thought a pair of dungarees are quite a good option. Again, they're great for summer, great for winter. In winter, if you're really desperate, can put some tights underneath. Don't know how hygienic that is, but, you know, if you get really chilly. But again, great with a little striped t-shirt, great with a jumper, layered underneath the jumper. They're just really cool. I think they're just a really easy throw-on option. Absolutely love these. I think they're just a great wardrobe essential when you're in uni, when you're not in uni. Just a good pair of dungarees. I love them. So good. The next item I'm moving on to kind of ties in with the whole knitwear layering jumpers category, but it is a little sweatshirt. I picked this up from Weekday, which are a brand that I've seen a lot of people talking about at the moment because I think they've just opened a store in London, which is very cool. But I love this because it kind of gives me like 80s dirty dancing vibes, you know, hair piled on top of your head, big hoop earrings, mom jeans, very cool. But I just love this because again, it's fail safe, it's great for like lounging around the house, throwing on with your pyjamas, wearing out. I know, it doesn't really need explaining, I don't need to explain every single item, but I just absolutely love this. I love the shade of it as well, it's, it's almost kind of pastel olivey greeny shade. A nice green, not a bogey green, but I really love that. Last item, can I pull them out from underneath all the other things? A pair of jeans. Um, these are actually undone because I did have them on earlier. I had to include them. Obviously, kind of when you put together a capsule wardrobe you are talking about some really obvious items and some not so obvious items these are definitely one of the most obvious items but a pair of jeans or a couple of good pairs of jeans the jeans in my wardrobe that I absolutely love are these which are the gap jeans they're the vintage straight and they're kind of a cross between a mum jean and a straight leg jean they're not high-waisted which is quite unusual for me because I do normally go for something high-waisted but for that fix I do have my ASOS Farley jeans which I wear all the time I'm gonna pop in some pictures Hopefully you can see them. But they're great, they're like straight leg jeans, high waisted, or if you're more of a skinny jeans person, the Joni jeans at Top Shop are great. Um, where else do you, and other stories also do great jeans. They're great for kind of high waisted kick flare jeans. Jeans that are a bit more trend led in shape, so I definitely head there, but these are really great. I wear these all the time and you know, they go with everything. It's always good to have a pair of jeans, even if you're not a jean person. You'll be surprised when they come in handy, so I definitely recommend these too. And that is a wrap. I know this was quite a long video because I was talking about 12 different items and how you'd style them, so I hope I didn't go on too much. I was also thinking in the midst of the video that I could perhaps look at doing like how to style those items in another video, like maybe a first day at work or like job interview kind of outfits or even a back to sick form look, lookbook, I can not get my words out there. Um, but let me know what you'd like to see because I've really enjoyed doing this because I feel like when I was at the uni or when I was at SIPFM I did struggle finding outfits and putting outfits together so I'm trying to ha hopefully it'll be a good resource for somebody. Um, if you do want some ideas for 
kind of more sick form styling which is slightly more smart because I know I had to wear a suit which was rubbish. I am going to link my Topshop video from last year um, which I did. A lot of the items won't be available but if you are just looking for more ideas on how to style suit trousers and stuff go and check that out because hopefully it will be quite useful and yeah have any more ideas I do. If you have any more ideas, please let me know. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next week. Bye.